Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video we are going to do something quite different. We are going to 3D print my Roblox character and of course I'm going to show you every step along the way so if you got a 3D printer at home you can do this too to print your very own Roblox character. Of course there are a couple of things that you need. Of course you need a 3D printer, you need some filament for your 3D printer, you also need a 3D editing software like Maya or Blender and you need Roblox Studio. Well, and you also need a Roblox account, but I'm assuming you already have that. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, if you have all the tools necessary to 3D print your character, you're gonna open up Roblox Studio. So, this here is my little studio in which I make all my thumbnails, and what you need is your character. So if you are wondering on how you get your character, all you do is you click play and it will load you in the world as your character. You go in the workspace section, open it up and click your character. In this case it was the above one. You do copy, you stop the simulation and you place it in the workshop. And there he is, your own character. So once you have your character in Studio, all you gotta do is click it, right click it in the Explorer menu and click Export Selection. It will give you the option to save it somewhere on your computer. Be sure to save it on a location that you can easily remember and give it a name that you recognize in an instant. For me it would be Bowie underscore model and save that. You should end up with something that looks like this. An MTL file, an OBJ file and some textures for the hats that you are wearing at the moment. You don't need to worry about the MDL and the texture files. The most important thing is this OBJ file. But unfortunately because Roblox exports models very poorly, it is not very optimized. So to optimize it, I would suggest you opening it up in a 3D software like Blender. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Maya. Once Maya is all ready to go, you go to import and you open up and you go to the place where you saved the model. In here, you open up the obj file. Click import and it will put your character on the scene. It might look a little bit weird but don't worry about that too much. First you want to make sure there are no floating parts. So take a look at my hats. They are floating above my shoulders. Of course printing this out is impossible because you can't print something floating in the air. So we gotta move them down a little bit. The entire model is connected and nothing is floating anymore. At this moment there is only one last step to do in Maya or Blender and that is to select the entire model, go to Mesh and combine it. This will make your model in a single model, making importing it a lot more easy. Now head over to File export all. It will ask you to pick a location to save it. I would recommend picking the same place that you place the other model. Be sure to give this a name that you can easily remember. For me that would be Bowie underscore model underscore print. Export all. We are now done with Maya or Blender so you can close your 3D program and head over to the next program. Now we have to open up Ultimaker Kura. Ultimaker Kura is an amazing program that can help you improve your model, cut it up and convert your file to a file that a 3D printer can read. It is important that at this location at the top you pick the 3D printer that you own so that your workstation 
is the correct size that you need. Now what we need to do is open up our model, click on the folder, go to your model folder where you saved everything and open up the model that you just created inside of Blender or Maya. Open it up and it gets placed on the ground. As you can see, it is super duper small. At first, I suggest you to put it up standing. Once it is standing, it is time to change the size. I like to make it a little bit bigger for this step. Now the most important step, make sure your character is actually on the ground and not floating. You gotta be really careful and look if everything is touching the ground. At my model here, it looks like everything is touching the ground, so I'm quite in luck. If your model is not touching the ground, you can just simply rotate it even more or move it down. Of course, a model this size would take way too long to 3D print. So let's scale it back down a little bit. Maybe this size, because it's still quite big. But we can easily adjust all the parameters. For the infill, I would suggest picking an infill density of 20. That way, your 3D print will be way faster and not take up all your filament. But something that is super important is the support. As you can see, we have all this red over here. And that is because if the 3D printer would just print this arm, these filament would just fall on the ground and you would get this really weird blob. So we can put the support overhang to something like 50 or maybe even 70. For this example, I would choose a 50 so that it would place a lot of filament under the arms. To see if it works, you can slice it up and then go to the preview. As you may notice, we have some weird pillars under the arms. This is absolutely fine and actually necessary because we can just remove these after the print and our model will be quite cool. Hmm, this one takes 20 minutes. I think I'm comfortable with 20 minutes. Once you are happy with your design, simply save to file and you can save it in the exact same folder. As you might have noticed, the file type is G-code now. G-code is a special code that 3D printers can read. Just save it and you're all set to 3D print. All you need now is a USB stick to put it on and then you can start printing. And there you have it, my very own Roblox character figurine. It is quite a bit small, but it still has a lot of detail. I might do a really big one in the future. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to join the Discord in the link in the description. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!